So this morning I came to the rim over by Sunrise Point. Um, and so did a lot of people. <laughs> Not even just photographers, just people coming to see the show. Uh, it was pretty. It was a pretty good show. Uh, I shot four sheets of Kodak Ektar 100. Uh, I got one shot just as the sun was coming up over the hills in the most soft light, uh, the warmest early morning glow. Uh, but there's actually a bank of clouds up on the east side of the sky. Um, and unfortunately it blocked the sun just after it rose. I had just enough time to shoot one sheet of film um, and then everything went muted again. So I sat on it long enough to wait for it to come above that cloud bank um, and expose a couple more sheets. Of course it was a lot brighter and the sun was a lot harsher. Um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. We'll see what happens when um, the film comes back and see if it's anything. I got a feeling I'm gonna like the earlier shot. Um, and the best light probably would have been right when the sun was behind the cloud bank. So yeah, it is what it is. I took a few exposures anyway. There's some really cool sun streaks going through the forest of evergreen trees down here, but I wasn't quite in my composition. Uh, but I did have some really nice uh, contrast lighting going on here. So just not sure if I wanna like that any better than early light. I got a feeling I know the answer to that. So that's it for right now. I uh, trying to decide if I got another composition in front of me here or not. Something I wanted to shoot some film on. Not entirely sure. It's just kind of hard to pick compositions out here. I'm finding that uh, would have been nice to have a longer lens. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for not talking through those compositions much. Um, there's just a lot of people around and it's pretty awkward. So I just focus on taking the photos and I guess I'll walk through it later. I'm uh, set up in probably the most popular place in the morning. So uh, I kind of expected that. Here's all the Ektar shots from that morning. So four exposures. It's my eyes, it looks like these two. These bottom two are the earlier shots, uh, just because this light here, this is really soft looking here. This is still pretty soft. This is looking a lot more contrasty. So I bet that these are the later exposures. Focus looks good. So this tree right here, these branches sticking out in the bottom of the frames, uh, I couldn't do much about. Just because no matter where I set up or on the rim, I kind of had something like this creeping in the bottom of the frame that I couldn't get rid of. So compromises were made and I just kind of landed on this. So we'll see how I feel about it once I get it scanned in. Uh, maybe I can work with that a little bit. But uh, so this exposure here looks a lot more even than this. I'm starting to get a little dark right here. So I'm not so sure about these two, but I'm excited to see these. I'm not sure what else I want to do yet this morning. Um, this is my last morning here and I'm going to go check out of my little cabin I rented and uh, head for home. But I'm trying to decide if I want to do one more hike. I've shot a pretty good amount of film already. I'm pretty happy with what I've done. I'm just trying to decide if I want to shoot any more. Because I still have a couple hours before checkout. It's still early. So I pulled off at a picnic area off the side of the road that's got some fallen trees and some cut up logs and stuff. Um, just looking for textures and kind of patterns I can play with. And I set myself up a composition on a knot in one of these cut logs here. Shooting really close with the camera. I had to put the extension on my monorail actually. Uh, now to be honest, this is more about practice than anything. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a very strong composition. It just kind of fills the whole frame with a knot, which I think it looks cool, but uh, I'm, it's forcing me to really like experiment and play with a lot of camera movements because it's impossible to get everything pin sharp in it, uh, unfortunately. So I'm actually, I'm actually going for a focus stack. Uh, it might be ill advised. It might be crazy. Well, we'll find out. Uh, but I figure I'll try to stack these up later in post, uh, if it works at all. And I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, I exposed two sheets of Kodak, uh, T-Max 100, uh, one kind of focusing for the outline shape of the knot. And then I took a second shot trying to get the center as sharp as I could. Uh, it's 
Now, not everything's pin sharp. It was kind of really trying to, you know, average everything the best I could to make the majority of it as acceptably sharp as I could uh, at F32. Hopefully uh, that works out. The composition's in direct sunlight, so I've got a lot of contrast coming in. Uh, I don't mind if my shadows push towards the blacks because uh, I really want it to look really contrasty. Uh, mostly abstract, I'd say. Uh, so my exposure times were uh, one eighth of a second, actually, on this one out of 32. Pretty fast, considering, but it's it's a pretty bright scene. So I had to compensate for some bellows extension, so hopefully I didn't screw that up. Uh, and then I've got a whole bunch of front tilt going on, some front swing. Um, I got quite a few movements going on here. Uh, we'll see if it turns out at all. I'm just kind of having fun, just pointing the camera at different things, just, you know, with any luck that stack will turn out. And if not, then eh, I tried. But it's all about kind of experimentation for me right now and uh, just kind of seeing and learning and seeing what I can do with the camera, so. So here are those exposures of that knot. They're pretty thin. This is pretty thin here, but there is still detail in there in both exposures, um, as well as right here too. It's a little hard to see there, but the detail is there. Looks like this is the one that's focused for the center. This is focused for the wood grain in the background. So this one's slightly brighter, looks like. Um, so maybe I can pull in some details here and the parts that aren't so critical in focus. So I'll have to see when I get them scanned in. Um, it was all kind of an experiment anyway, um, but they kind of look like uh, there's something to work with there. They are dark, they're very dark, they're very contrasty, but that's what I was going for. This I think is gonna be almost pure black with just a little bit of detail. Looks like there's more detail in this one, um, but that's okay. That's exactly what I was going for. So we'll see how they look when I get them scanned in. So that was it from the trip. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this short little series uh, from Bryce Canyon National Park. And if you did and you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that sure helped the channel out and I'd really appreciate that. And maybe while you're down there, hit the subscribe button so we can stay in touch and you'll see the new videos that I release uh, and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when those come out. And with that, I just want to say thanks again for watching and hope to catch you in the next one.